Mexican actress Melissa Barrera is one to watch these days, literally. She made her television debut in the Mexican reality show La Academia and quickly crossed over to Spanish-speaking soap operas and worked her way to Hollywood. She has made a name for herself playing Lynn Hernandez, the charming party girl gone woke and stars' groundbreaking hit Vita, before landing her first big movie role in the movie adaptation of Lynn manuel Miranda's Broadway hit In the Heights. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Melissa Barrera. She went to NYU. Her love for acting first began when she auditioned for The Wizard of Oz in middle school. After graduating high school, she followed her dream of Broadway success and applied to study at NYU's Tisch School of the Arts. She told The Last Magazine, I thought that was going to be my life, I thought that, I'm going to go to New York, I'm going to graduate, I'm going to audition and book something on Broadway, and that's going to be my life forever. And then life happens. She ended up moving back to Mexico because she wasn't an American citizen and got into television. She made a name for herself in telenovelas. She made her television debut in the ninth season of the Mexican reality show La Academia. After reality television introduced her to the world, Barrera's new popularity led her to the realm of telenovelas, like Simper Taya Acapulco and Tanto Amor. She told the New York Times, it was a big deal because I'd only done small parts in telenovelas prior to that and I was young compared to leading ladies in other telenovelas. Yet it was the Stars series Vita that helped launch her career in the US. She was obsessed with In the Heights long before the movie. Barrera landed her first big movie role in the movie adaptation of Lin-Manuel Miranda's sleeper Broadway hit In the Heights. It's basically her dream role. She has long been obsessed with the 2008 Broadway show since she saw it during a high school field trip. She told Harper's Bazaar, I went on a school trip to New York City and a few of us escaped our hotel to see the show. It was a strange feeling because those were tears of hope and pride, pride in seeing the Mexican flag on a Broadway stage and seeing people who looked like me and roles that I could play, I felt like I was on the right path. She was inspired to pursue musical theater because of Lin-Manuel Miranda's Tony-winning musical. Once she reached NYU, she decided that she had to become a part of the Broadway show. She regularly auditioned at every open call held for in the Heights, lining up to sing in front of casting agents whenever roles were open. She was never successful, but the musical still held a special place in her heart. She is judicious about her roles. As her career so far has proven, Barrera is open to a wide range of projects, from reality TV to telenovelas and musicals. But there's one factor that she always considers before taking a role, representation. When she chooses roles, she's not afraid to lose out on a paycheck if it means calling out a racist or stereotypical portrayal. She explained to the New York Post, a lot of the scripts I get, I'm like, you don't understand how this is a negative portrayal. But when I say no, I always explain why. She hopes to continue breaking stereotypes with her performances by being more selective about the roles she takes on and the stories. She told Sean Magazine, I also want to start producing content. That's another way to ensure that the stories that are being told about the Latinx community are the kind of representation we deserve. She's Clinique's first Latinx global ambassador. In June 2021, she was named Clinique's new global ambassador. Emilia Clark was the first in 2020, making Barrera the brand's first Latinx ambassador. She told Vogue magazine, it makes me feel good that little Latinas are going to be able to see me and think that they can also be the face of a brand globally, I feel like that means a lot. I've always dreamed of having a campaign like this and I never saw anyone that looked like me or that had a name that sounded like mine or that I knew was a Latina. Maria Felix is her beauty icon. As a young Mexican actor, Barrera had one major icon whose career she wanted to emulate. She told Birdie, in Mexico, we have a really famous actress called Maria Felix, who was an icon of the golden age of Mexican cinema. She was this badass, feminist, tough woman with arched eyebrows. And she had a beauty mark on her cheek. And she was gorgeous and had a deep voice. Everyone wanted to be her. She's an icon that I love. She met her husband on reality TV. Barrera met her husband, music producer and singer Paco Zazueta, on the Mexican reality TV show La Academia when she was just a 21-year-old making her TV debut. She told Variety, reality TV is like a snake pit. You think the entertainment industry can be hard, but reality TV? That's the epitome of whether you're ready for this or not. Luckily for Barrera, she found a source of comfort and support in fellow contestants Azueta. 
we would take turns telling each other we had what it takes to stick it out. The two tied the knot in February 2019. She plays guitar. Like many people, Barrera tried to make the most out of the COVID-19 lockdown by learning a new skill. In addition to enjoying quality time with her husband, the actress learned to play the guitar. She's been recording her progress on Instagram since March 2020, when she shared a clip of herself playing ABBA's I Have a Dream and showing off her new callouses. She admitted that it was harder than she thought, describing how she had learned different chords from YouTube videos. Just one month later, however, she confidently played Disfruto by Carla Morrison in another post, showing off how she had honed her musical abilities. Working out is an essential part of her self-care routine. In an interview with Birdie, the actress revealed that she loves being active. Sweating makes me feel good about myself. And when I'm in Mexico, I do a lot of hiking with my mom and boxing with my sisters. I think it's such a good workout. I also love doing Reiki for inner beauty spirituality. It helps to be in alignment. She is not worried about being typecast. And the Heights isn't the only time fans can see Barrera singing on the big screen. She has already taken on another musical, Carmen. She told Collider, a lot of people were telling me, you shouldn't go and do another musical after In the Heights. You don't want to put yourself in a box. Barrera insisted that the project isn't at all similar to her previous film. I'm like, first of all, no one told Judy Garland to not do another movie musical, so shut up. And this is a completely different world. This is more of a tragedy with music.